I've just been through so much bad stuff. And when you go through, and what, all, what everyone sees out there is all the good stuff, right? Oh, next deck of porn, funding rounds, etc. But the type of business that I lead, uh, you know, you name it, we've been shut down by the government, as you remember back in 2000, uh, was it 17? We were shut down by the government. I probably had more demonstrations than most government officials <laughs> had to deal with, um, one of which had to be mediated by Paul Death. <laughs> uh, and so, you know, you go through these swings of crises and after a while, you start to build a pattern recognition that, you know, when things are on the up, there will always be a down. And when things are the down, it won't always keep you down, it'll come back up again. And so, there, a certain level of zenness develops over time when you're used to crisis and achievement like that and you start seeing it from a long term. So I think that is what has led me to feel this immense sense of gratitude. I don't learn anything from my successes okay. at all. It makes me feel good. Uh, it makes other people feel good. It makes people respect you and get the headlines and get you deals. But um, there's no comparison to the learnings of failure. Uh, it's basically like, at this stage, like uh, whenever I hit a failure, I secretly relish it because like, oh man, I'm about to learn something. I'm about to grow again. Um, and so now I just, I take the hit and enjoy it because, okay, this is just the world trying to teach me a new lesson, right? And then you, you go on. As much as I try to hate them for all of their ridiculous behavior and overspending, we'd be nothing without them. We'd be nothing. We would never be this big without having the craziest competitor. That's where you build, you know, your trench lines. That's where the strongest uh, human relationships get formed and, and hardened because of war. Um, and so. The team that we have now in Gojek was built out of war. And war is a funny thing. War uh, is painful in so many ways, but it solidifies bonds that will transcend even Gojek. You know, when you've been in the trenches together, you, I mean, you know this. Like, it's, 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 it's this weird feeling of unity against uh, an enemy. Um, it's not that intense, but you know, you know what I mean. Um, but I felt that without them, and that's why over time, you learn to build gratitude towards your enemy. You learn to kind of love them because you wouldn't be there without them. That feeling of when I quit cigarettes is the same feeling that I had when I quit social media. And my finger was constantly, every time I opened my phone, my finger was looking for that button. I could also feel the emotional baggage that it, it, it built. In, in me and the amount of effort and time and mind share that it was absorbing from me like a like a like a black hole of pencitraan, jealousy or aspiration it's bad it's bad you only realize it when you're out that's the moment that i realized after that suddenly i found myself reading again Suddenly I found myself contacting friends much more and actually meeting them more often and having authentic relationships. I began to be able to make decisions in my company that were better decisions, even though they may be unpopular publicly because I just stopped caring what people were saying about me or about uh, my decisions because it was the right thing to do. It was transformational.